like a deer in the headlights. That hasn't happened to me in 25 years. I was sick to my stomach. It's humiliating. I just posted on my Facebook. I don't went and I was responding to some comments on my last Instagram picture. Now I'm gonna respond to texts because I never answer texts. It takes me like three to five business days to respond. <laughs> so I need to go through those. That's what I'm doing. It's finally light out a little bit. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna be doing a day in my life on a Friday. I kind of want to go back to sleep, but I have so many things to do today. You guys are so lucky that you get to endure all the things with me. Oh, I need my eyebrows waxed so bad.
obviously he's being a menace like every other morning. Using the right chicken nugget. <laughs> Yay! Now, like every other morning, also, sorry, I'm kind of like whispering, um, because Alyssa's sleeping. I'm gonna make some hot water with lemon. That's how I always start my morning. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like that TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sure of all the benefits, but I know there's a ton of benefits of drinking hot water with lemon in the morning on an empty stomach. Um, but yeah. Now that I'm looking at my flowers that are all from my birthday, I think it's time for them to go. They're a little dead. I don't think I'm the best caretaker, but they were beautiful and I enjoyed them while they lasted. These ones gotta go too. <laughs> Next on the list is we're packaging a Poshmark order. Um, I like to do it in the morning because while I'm out, I have to go to the gym and to get gas. So I'm gonna drop it off while I'm out doing those things. Um, let's see what I sold. So I sold my little circle purse and I got her in Italy. Um, me and my friend Sydney were like our circle buddies because we both have matching purses. Um, but I just don't use her very often anymore. I used to all the time. She was always in my pictures, but she deserves a better home. Someone that will use her. And they requested an autograph, so I need to sign a piece of paper. <laughs> Who would want this autograph? Like, look at me. <laughs> I need to get, like, something nice to autograph, but I don't have anything. So I'm just going to sign oh, this pink piece of paper. Alright, now that it's packaged, we need to go down to our leasing office. Is this cold off yet? Just right. Oh, a little tangy today. Bitter. Okay. We have to go down to the leasing office and print out the label for that package. And while we're on our way, we're dropping off the garbage with the dead flowers because if I leave them laying around on the floor, Theo will eat them and he could die. So, can't have that happening on my watch. getting this one, I sincerely apologize for the tape job. Now it's time to hurry up actually and get changed and go to my workout class. Today I'm doing a barefoot boot camp, which is kind of like a, I don't know, like a mix of Pilates, yoga, the whole shebang. I don't know, you use like kettlebells, dumbbells. It's a heated room. It's an amazing class. I go to True Fusion if you're Austin based. I think they have some other locations, but definitely give them a try. I go every day. No, I have to fly. I go to like five times a week. I try to go as much as I possibly can because I enjoy it. But yeah, it's eight o'clock right now, central time. So I need to hurry up because the workout's at nine. And before that, I have to get gas and go to the post office. I might have to go to the post office after. But no matter what, I have to get gas. Like I might not even make it to the gas station. Because we girls wait to the last minute. I'm not going to speak for all girls, I'm just going to speak for myself, but... And we're ready. And all pink. Um, and of course we're running all errands in slippers.
Yes, I've had this for a fat minute. Don't know about it. But we're off. Oh, I always hate leaning back because it's so cold. I need like to put a jacket on. Oh, I might hit this pole again. As if it would be my first time. No, it wouldn't. Okay, and we're off. I am like hoping and praying that I make it to the gas station because if I don't, I don't have anyone here. Like, I mean, I have Alyssa and I have my friends, but I'd hate to be an annoyance to make them come get me. Especially like it's a Friday, it's a work day. People have a lot they need to do. It's not like my parents or someone can just come swoop me real, whoa, 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 real fast. Are we joking? Ugh. But on the bright side, I did make it to the gas station. Pump, baby, pump. <laughs> I'm in this annoying situation where I'm out. Like 20 minutes early for my workout class, but I wouldn't have had time to go to the post office and then be back here in time for the class. So I'm just like waiting in my car. Because I don't feel like being in there that early because they like clean the rooms in between classes so I couldn't like go and lay in there anyways. The sun is really coming down today. 8.30 and the sun is beating. I wonder how nice it's going to be today. It's only 60 degrees right now. Look at my hair. I walk around like this on the regular. Like I don't know how people don't say something to me like I'm sure I scare them well okay I need some sunglasses yeah. well, of course I don't <laughs> why would I ever have anything that I need so tonight I'm being I'm judging a dance competition actually at the University of Texas so that's exciting I have no idea what I'm gonna wear I've never been a judge, I've always just been the dancer, so this is gonna be weird. Yeah, that that absolutely wrecked me. Um, and the best part about it is the girl next to me recognized me and was like, are you from Dance Moms? Like, I watch all your TikToks and stuff, and I was like, you just had to see that terrible performance of me in that workout class and me looking like this, beautiful. But, we're doing it because we have, we want to be fit. We want to be healthy. Check. This place is always so crowded. Like there's so many people, always. No matter what hour I go. But we're back and it's time for my pro reaction. Hey. First things first, water. Can't show you what I'm using yet. Oh. Because it's my little secret that I whipped up in the kitchen for you. But I can tell you one thing, she is delicious. And I drink her every day. Of this gold, I never get sick of it. Okay, now I need to take a shower. We just on the move, on the move. Right, these. Right. Nice and clean. La, 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 la. Okay, so I have been working non stop. Um, for my corporate job and then I had a call about some uh, brand deals and one that got me really excited about Bali because we were just talking about how it's coming up so also if you want to come to Bali with me then I'll leave the link in the description but super exciting things happening um, but now it's time to get ready 
for tonight. I don't think I can look at my computer anymore. The one thing that is good about my company is it's no meeting Fridays. So once I like clear out my inbox and answer everything and do everything that I needed to do, I can like step away from my computer. Um, yeah. All right, my makeup's done. My hair is like kind of done. I don't know what I want to do with it, but it depends on what I wear. I don't know what to wear. Send help. <laughs> All right, this is the fit. I'm gonna put a black blazer over it and we out jump. wanted to give a quick little recap on the competition and kind of what it was like being the judge because normally I'm the dancer <laughs> um so it was definitely weird being on the other side of things recently when I went to the University of Georgia I actually hosted the competition and I was the MC for the night which was really nerve-wracking because public speaking can be scary um especially when it's in front of thousands of people uh so that's obviously nerve-wracking and then being the performer is very nerve-wracking because i don't know you got to do your best show the judges and the audience what you're made of but then being the judge it's not necessarily like that you're nervous in that way but i i feel like okay my situation was different because i was going to an after party with all of these girls after so i was like i don't want all these people to be mad at me if i don't choose them but me and Alyssa ended up, we we're like, all right, we're judging fair. There, it was by like energy, performance, creativity, etc. And, but at the end of the day, everyone was amazing. And it was really hard to remember like who did what based off of like numbers and whatnot. So it honestly made us both, both as dancers growing up feel better because ultimately it's three judges opinion scoring you. And everyone's opinions are different, so, like, for example, me doing contortion all the time. Oh, he's making his appearance. Um, doing contortion all the time. I could get a judge that absolutely hates contortion, so obviously I'm going to lose. But if I got a judge that loves it, then I could win. Like, I don't, I don't know. Kind of opened my eyes a little bit. And it was hard for group numbers because we were so close up to watch everyone. Like you couldn't really see it as a whole. I don't know. Anyways, I don't think judging is my my um, forte. I'd rather be dancing or hosting or kissing Theo. Um, but yeah, anyways, like I said, congrats to um, winners and congrats to everyone at UT that participated in Greek Get Down and helped raise money for such a good cause and yeah but after that we did a little meet and greet shebang and then went to an after party um, at one of the campus bars and I got to meet a lot of sorority girls it brought me back to my college days and we became friends and I actually ended up at one of their apartments <laughs> and yeah that was my night but yeah, I hope I get to do more things like that because that was a lot of fun. And yeah, thanks so much for having me. And thank you for everyone who's watching this. Me and Theo appreciate you and love you.